Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jen's Chroma Keyed Mask. I, I've tried everything. So as you can see, I am here in the uh, fair use, no copyright infringement mountains behind me of Please Don't Sue Me Land. But yeah, we're uh, we're off searching for adventure. I wish I had a sword I could hold up. Megan, you think you can... Powerful sword! We're gonna go on some adventures. Maybe we'll find an encounter of some sort. An epic encounter. Mm -hmm. See? This is going to up your RPG and D&D levels up to the 5th degree. Why the 5th? Well, because it's for the 5th edition, of course. That's why. This here is an encounter in a box. It's got all you'll need to face your group up with a uh, most menacing foe. The one I have here is the Lair of the Red Dragon. It comes with a giant uh, red dragon mini, as you can see here. It will also come with uh, everything you'll need to kind of really play. The only things that you'll need are, are, of course, the stuff you're probably already going to have, like your dice, a character sheet. Otherwise, it's got all you need right over here. It comes with a mini. It has some tokens in there for you. The whole book that you're going to need to uh, fight this big old red dragon here. It even comes with maps. That's right, it, it helps you out. It doesn't hold your hand, but it definitely gives you all you need to get your group going. $49.95, and what's cool here, it'll tell you what you can even use this in. So if you wanted to use this as the finale of Shrine of the Cobalt Queen, you can, or you can just use it in your own homebrew adventure. Uh, did you happen to know that there are more than one tonight? What? Wow. Caverns of the Frost Giant. It's so cold you can barely see it. Work with me, lights. Come on. <laughs> I got the cameras looking great, but they can't pick up the product. <laughs> it's, it's always something, isn't it? But yeah, same deal. It comes with this giant, really cool, uh, like, amazingly detailed model. Uh, this one is $39.95. And we have one more to show you. All of the Orc King. This one is really cool. This one comes with the whole, like, Orc army. Check them all out. Uh, actual size, if you really care about that, I guess. But uh, yeah, same same whole deal. Comes with all you'll need to sort of uh, sit you and your wow, this is beautiful. Cool. So there you have it. Some fun encounters. Uh, that's an encounter. Thank you, Matt. That was that was wonderful. Matt danced for me. It's always something here. It's so good. But I had to show you guys some really cool boxes, some encounters in a box. Uh, well, I guess I've got places to be, so I'm going to. Uh, do that. Enjoy this footage of uh, Kendall making funnel cakes at a mortuary. Because we have footage of that. We also have footage of these beautiful blossomy flowers, which is way more pleasant. And if only they had a funnel cake. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye. Hello, JC here to talk about WizKids' new games, Waddle Downtown. In this game, you have a group of penguins, which, if they're in the water, a group of penguins is called a raft. A raft of penguins. But, uh, appropriately on land, a group of penguins is a waddle. So, you have a waddle of penguins, I believe there are 32 of them, split into two groups. You have the red penguins and you have the green penguins. You and your other players, from two to four, will take turns placing the penguins about the city. Will you make them go visit the aquarium? Or uh, perhaps a restaurant? Will they go to the park? It's up to you. You can place either color penguin on your turn, uh, and everybody has control of both colors of penguins. You have private objectives that are how you score points, and they care about groups of four penguins at a particular location, or any location that has uh, more red penguins than green penguins. Stuff like that. It plays out in five to seven rounds, depending on the number of players, and takes about a half hour. You can pick this game up from us for $29.99, and uh, definitely is going to make a nice addition to any of your uh, family game nights. So, uh, I'm going to go read some more Penguin Facts, because this was probably the highlight of my day. Hello again, Megan here at Atlantis Games and Comics, here to talk to you about a game. The game I have here is Tokyo Clash, which is a Funko game. It is about Godzilla. So in this game, uh, you are essentially going to play as a kaiju, and you're trying to basically be the biggest and baddest kaiju in all of Tokyo. Your options are going to be either Godzilla, King Ghidorah, Mothra, and I have to look up the other one, Megalon. <laughs> I don't know that one, I'm sorry. They ask you how you are, you just have to say 
say that you're fine when you're not really fine. This box art is absolutely amazing. Like, And then the miniatures and the components of this game are so cool. Like, those minis are pretty huge and they're super detailed. And even if you're just a big kaiju Godzilla fan, Godzilla vs. King Kong is coming out. So, hey, relevant, very cool. But each different kaiju plays differently. So, you know, like Godzilla, for instance, is a water creature. So he tends to be more powerful if you let him spend a lot of time in water versus Mothra doesn't really directly attack, but like absorbs energy. So it very much plays into the lore of each of the kaijus. And I think that's really cool when a gameplay mechanic can be enhanced by the story of the game. I, I love that when the game and the narrative align very well. It kind of plays similar to King of Tokyo in that you are just trying to be like the biggest, baddest beast, but it doesn't necessarily matter where you are. Every character's kind of got their own way of going about winning, and everybody just plays uniquely. I think it's really cool. I feel like even if you just want to paint the miniatures, that's worthwhile. It is two to four players, ages 10 and up. So, you know, keep that in mind. A little bit more challenging than King of Tokyo, maybe play King of Tokyo and then advance to this one. Uh, but otherwise, I'd say it's a great game. Definitely check it out. Thanks, bye. the footage of uh, Kendall making funnel cakes at a portion degree because we have footage of that. So once you've got the oil into the pan, that's when I take some time and I start doing a little bit of makeup here on the body. And that's what the oil is there for. And then obviously you're going to use your funnel because it's a funnel cake. That's what we do here. So you pour it into your funnel. I've got some different makeup palettes that I use like while I'm funneling into. So I kind of take my one hand, I'm gonna go ahead and use my funnel to make my funnel cake. And then, you know, I'm gonna use this uh, heavy sienna. Get some lip color on here. It's very important. And then after that, uh, I'm also gonna take some of this violet and kind of get some nice eyeshadow going as well. And then at the end, you're just gonna have a really, really pretty looking face and you're also going to have a pretty looking funnel cake. Uh, so I hope that's very helpful for all of you out there.